a Geo Kazuha that heals? Xylolan is a game changing unit and I don't think I've ever said that about any unit in my videos. Her kit looks insane and she really is looking like a must pull character. Not to mention she has this DJ roller blader aesthetic which is amazing. In this video we're going to go look at her kit. Now this is very early information so things are subject to change but her core kit will stay the same. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now let's look at her talent, her normal attack. In her normal stance, she has a 3 hit combo, but you won't use these as much as when you're in her Night Soul Blessing state. These will be now Geo and scale off defense with the 4 hit combo with much better multipliers, kicking your opponents in the face as you dance around them. That is just amazing and loads of fun. Her skill, like many Natlin characters, they almost all revolve around their skill, so let's break it down. Xylonin enters into a high speed combat mode and deals Night Soul aligned Geo damage based on her defense and upon entering the state, she's going to gain 45 Night Soul points. Within her kit, she has source samples. These are her little DJ discs. So what, the, what do these do? Well, she has three of these and it will light up differently according to the other party members elemental types which decrease the opponent's elemental resistance when activated. That already sounds amazing, but how do we activate this? Well, Xylolin will initially have her samplers glow geo, but for each party member with pyro, hydro, cryo, or electro, one geo sampler will change to that element. You need to have her passive talent Netosili Echoes unlocked as when she gains her max which is 90 night soul points, she will then consume them and activate her 3 source samplers for 15 seconds. This will now give the elemental resistance shred to opponents of the same elemental type and it cannot stack. This can be triggered off field. At level 8 currently, you can get 30% elemental resistance shred. Now this is incredible, especially getting some geo elemental resistance shred. That's amazing because we don't really have that in the game as of now. Now about her Night Soul state, now within her Night Soul state, Xylonin will swap to a blade roller mode increasing her movement speed, climbing speed and she can also perform high speed leaps will turn her into a little leopard which is super cool. She has a 9 second time limit and after you exceed this limit or her Night Soul points will deplete. So how does she gain the max Night Soul points? Well you need to unlock her passive talent Echoes. While in this Night Soul state she will gain buffs according to her current source sample types. If she has at least two source samples that are not Geo, she will gain 35 Night Soul points upon hitting an opponent and can be triggered every 0.1 seconds, gaining 90 very easily with this. However, if you want to main DPS her, if she has 0 or 1 source sample that have not changed from Geo, her damage dealt is increased by 30%. So you can make her as a main or support, this is incredible, although her DPS window is a bit small. So how does she heal? Well, within her burst, it's kind of crazy. She activates her DJ self and skills and deals AOE geo damage based on her defense. If she has at least two source samples that are not geo, then she will heal nearby characters based on her defense. If she only has zero or one samplers that are not geo, she will deal even more damage on top of this. And the burst only costs 60. This is just too insane. She can either be a DPS or healer and buffer. Let's go over her passives that I have not talked about. She has the same passive as most Natlin characters, being able to explore with Flakastad mechanics. So let's go over her next one. While in the Night Soul state, when Xylonin reaches her max Night Soul points that are 90, she will trigger an effect equal to that of her Night Soul burst. This effect can be triggered every 14 seconds. When nearby party members trigger the Night Soul Burst, she will increase her defense by 20% for 15 seconds. So basically a permanent buff on her defense, which is quite nice. Her core kit already looks quite amazing, but let's go over her constellations. Her C1, her Night Soul and Flockerstone consumption is decreased by 30% and her Night Soul point is extended by 45%. And when she has active source samples, she can increase nearby characters interruption to resistance. Okay, this is great, especially to extend her DPS window overall and to help her team not get interrupted. Her C2 is insane and by far my favorite constellation. Your party gains buffs according to the corresponding active source samples with their corresponding elements. So Geo crit rate is going to increase by 30%, Pyro attack is increased by 40%, Hydro HP is increased by 40%, 
cryo crit damage is increased by 50%, electro, they restore 20 energy, and the burst cooldown is decreased by 2 seconds. Dang, so many buffs. This is a great supportive con or a main DPS Xylolin with that 30% crit rate buff. Pretty insane. Her C4, when Xylolin uses her skill, she will grant all party members the Blooming Blessing for 15 seconds. This allows characters to deal increased normal charge and plunge damage based on 65% of Xylolin's defense. This will be cancelled after triggering 6 times or until it ends. When you hit more than one opponent, the trigger count will consume based on the number hit. The count for each party member is independent. So, um, kind of like Shenha, but for everyone, okay Xylolin, I see you. Her C6. When Xylonin is in her night soul state, when she springs, leaps, or uses her normal or plunge attacks, she will gain imperishable night blessing, ignoring the limitations of her night soul state, and increases the damage dealt by her normal and plunge for 5 seconds. Dang, talk about more DPS. Now, during this time, her night soul blessing time limit cooldown will be paused. Her night soul state will not end either, and she will deal 300% of her defense as increased normal and plunge damage while in this state and she can gain an imperishable state every 15 seconds giving her an amazing buff and healing dps she looks wild to use c0 is amazing and every con just gives you more damage and more utility for your team Honestly, I am so excited for this unit. Geo is amazing. I am so happy that so many Geo characters are coming out that are so great. But I do want to build her real quick. I will do an in-depth guide later down the line. But let's go ahead and just quickly do this. For talents, for a support Xylonin, I would go ahead and level up her skill, then her burst to heal your teammates, and then her normal attack. For DPS, go ahead and level up both her skill and normal attack at the same time, then leave her burst for last. For stat priority, for a support, go for defense, defense or geo damage, crit, or if you don't really mind not critting with her, then defense for full support. For DPS, go for defense, geo damage, and crit. Artifacts. Honestly, for her overall support and damage, the Husk of Opulent Dreams is an amazing set for her. Her support side, as she shreds elemental resistance, she can also buff your team's elemental bonus by having the four-piece scroll of the Hero of Cinder Cities. Now for weapons, for support just use any defense scaling sword or even give her some ER to keep her healing up with some damage. The new Latlin craftable will be incredible for her. For DPS, use crit based weapons. I'm sure Chiori's Uraku is going to be an amazing sword on her. Her best in slot however will be her own weapon with a high defense and a supportive passive. Now for party members, she is a universal support except if you have a Dendro or Animo main carry, sorry, they had to put some limitation on her because she just looks amazing. I would really like to know your thoughts on her, is she power creepy Kazuo or is she just a different type of Kazuo that the game really needed, especially since he doesn't work well with Geo and she does. I am so ecstatic to pull for her, I cannot wait, I'm thinking of getting her at C2 but please comment down below, please like, share and subscribe as it really helps this channel out a lot and I do stream outside Twitch so I would appreciate if you come say hi and I'll see you next time.